Hey, Romulo, how are you? Fine, teacher. Thank you. I do well. Great, great. Veronica, how about you? How are you? I'm not sure, but somebody's microphone is pretty loud and we're hearing all of the business about the, how much how much they're paying and the seguridad y los agentes and everything. So <laughs> it, it's okay. I thought, I thought you were uh, speaking, in, in, you know? No, 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 not me, not me. But but I, I just, you know, sometimes it's company secrets and I don't want anybody to get in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> uh huh. Elizabeth, Jose, how are you? Hello, good evening. Good evening. I'm doing okay. A little bit tired and busy and I'm sorry that I missed uh, mm -hmm. two, two classes, two classes uh, last week. Huh? But uh, it, uh, it's been a crazy days. I can imagine, I can imagine. Yeah, actually, and um, I want to ask you if I can leave uh, this session uh, 10 minutes before uh, it no. finished because I have another, I have an international conf conference at 10 o'clock, so. Yeah, no problem, Elizabeth, I understand. Is there sometimes, yeah. especially today with our, you know, with the way that the society is that, you have conferences and sometimes it's early in El Salvador and afternoon in the exactly. other countries or late in El Salvador and early yeah. in the other. So yeah, yeah, yeah. No problem. Completely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Bane, how's everything at Tigo? Hi. Uh, we are in the end of the month, so it's a little crazy. Mm. Uh, yeah. <laughs> It has been a, a crazy day, and tomorrow I, it's probably we are going to have a lot of work. So that's I'm good. I'm trying to be <laughs> to be relaxed because I some I there's something that I can't resolve right now, so I have to wait until tomorrow. I'm and sorry. Everything. Sorry, Vani. What did you say? There are some things that you you can't what? That I can resolve. Ah, res uh, that's right. That's right. Mm -hmm. No, no, right now, right. so I, I have to wait until tomorrow. Okay. Mm -hmm. oh. Teacher, I have a question with that word because I have doubts if the correct is say resolve or solve. It's the same. Um, it's used the same, but I guess you know it. It, it just depends on the situation. Okay. So, oh. okay, is. Mm. So, for example, let's say you use the word solve, right? That means you, you have an answer for something. Like math, two plus two, you solve, right? Uh -huh. Okay, so that's the typical way that we use solve is you have a solution, okay? When we normally use the word resolve is that there is no more. That is the end of the problem. Oh, okay. So let's say that mm, Elizabeth and I have a problem. Okay. We have a, we work together and we have, I don't know, a, a, um, I don't know, a, a, a management problem or a project on a project, a problem, some problem. Okay. Now we can solve the problem we find a solution. Elizabeth stays in her office. I stay in my office and we, she has lunch at 12 o'clock. I have lunch at one o'clock. This is solved. This is a solution, but it doesn't finish the problem. The problem is Elizabeth and I, we don't like each other. Now, if Elizabeth and I find a way to like each other, find a way to become friends, then it's not solved. Then it's resolved is the end of the problem. Okay. This is, this is the, the technical difference. In, in reality, many people, 
use both of them interchangeably, but always in mathematics, always with numbers, always in accounting, it's solve. Solve is always because there is a solution for that. Resolve is usually for relationships, interdepartmental problems, uh, administrative problems with somebody else. This is normally when we say we need to resolve this issue. Uh, okay. mm -hmm. Yes, I have that uh, doubt uh, early Tuesday because I send an email when I say I need to resolve this by tomorrow. But I don't know, in that moment I didn't know what is the correct. I, I want to resolve this by tomorrow or solve this by tomorrow. So it really depends on I the problem. Google it and, the, and Google say it's the same meaning, right? But, right. And I don't know if it depends on the context. It really does. Like I said, it really does. Um, in most contexts, you can use both and not have a problem. But mm -hmm. really, when you have a, a relationship or interpersonal, then you want to use the word resolve. Okay. Mm -hmm. Whenever there's something like um, a formula, math, um, I don't know, no internet in the house, that 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 Tigo doesn't doesn't you can't make phone calls with Tigo. This is not resolved. This is solved because it's only a solution to this problem. But the problem is going to happen again. This is not okay. the end of the problem. When it's the end of the problem, then it's resolved. I will try to remember. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Always think, just think of this. Solve is numbers and resolve is relationships. Uh, okay. Perfect. Okay. Yeah, it helps. Yeah. I mean, it, of, of course, there's always some exceptions, but eh, more or less, this is the idea. Solve is problems and resolve our relationships. Okay, perfect. Thank you, teacher. Sure thing, of course, of course. Anybody else? It maybe is my imagination, but I think we have a new student connecting in this moment because that picture I have never seen. It's a picture of a bear. You guys see that picture of the bear? Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. I never seen before. I've never seen before. Yeah. I I I don't I I I I don't remember seeing it before. Yeah. I don't see the name either. It says connecting, 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 connecting. Oh, there, and there you go. Hey, hey, look, it's a girl. It's Patricia. Patricia. It's a girl, but with she, a picture. She was there. Yes. Patricia, are you there? I'm curious. Now I'm curious. Now I want to know. <laughs> Come on, teacher. Don't be like that. <laughs> you see, but Patricia is smart. Don't put, Maybe don't, don't eliminate the mute. Leave the mute. You see, leave the mute. It's okay, Patricia. No problem. <laughs> Hi, teacher. Hey, hey, Patricia, you're there. <laughs> <laughs> Patricia, just a quick question. Who is the picture of? It's my son. Ah, Elizabeth is a genius. <laughs> 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 I see that you're I see the bear and I think see, totally. bear. Wow. It's not, <laughs> it's not normal in El Salvador. <laughs> he is a Steven. Oh, he's pretty big. Your son is pretty big. Thanks, teacher. Mm-hmm. Welcome. All right, guys. So today we're actually going on to kind of a little complicated topic grammatically because we're actually looking at three different um, things. We're going to be looking at the present continuous. We're going to be looking at the present perfect. And then we need to make sure that we understand them because we're going to be using both of them with the passive. Okay. So we're going to go step by step. There are three parts. Okay, first is the start, the part with present continuous. Okay, this part, do you know what it is? Do you know how to, how to make it? What, what lesson is, teacher? Oh, thank you, thank you, Elizabeth. We are, sorry, my apologies. This is lesson 2.0, 2.0, at this moment. Mm -hmm. so, the world we're living? 2.0 by, it, I don't see the world we live in. Yes, the world we live in, that's right. To the world we live in, that's right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, so let's start off with that. What's the present continuous? Nobody? When you when you oh, say mm -hmm. something in the in present using the ing verb or yes yes the, yes the action now. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's exactly it. So is when you say something with the action is now and grammatically is the verb to be and ing. So grammatically, verb to be and ing. The usage is for an action now. That's the first one. That's the present continuous. Good. What about the present perfect? Do you remember what is that? Present perfect? Yeah. Um, with the... Present perfect was... Uh, When you use a uh, no, that's past past. No problem. No problem. Does anybody else remember? Or anybody else can help? Present perfect. Present perfect. Yes, correct, Ramona. Present perfect. Uh, the action pass in the past, but continue in the present. Okay. Okay, this is one. And this is one reason. Excellent. Anybody else? Another? Another for present perfect? Another usage? Okay. If you are on WhatsApp, I just sent you an image of when else do we use it. Okay. Reporting a recent event with, without a specific time reference. Okay, so we have normally, Actually. Elizabeth, we have three times that we use it. Can you please read the three different occasions when we use the present perfect? Um, first, reporting a recent event without a specific time reference. Repeated action in the past with no time reference action or situation that begin began in the past and continue until now. Okay. Now, these are the three different occasions when we use the present perfect. The main idea for the present perfect is that we use it when we're talking about things without a time. Okay. This is normally how we think of it. So when we say the present perfect is this action happened and we don't know when it happened. That's for number two and three in the list. So in the WhatsApp group, that's number two and three. An action has happened or an action happened many times, but we don't know when it happened. Or number one, okay, is I have, uh, number one is a recent event without a specific time. Again, the most important is the time. There is no specific time. So as an example, when we talk about the present continuous is in this moment or at a specific moment, okay? So at eight o'clock, I am eating dinner as an example, right? This is the continuous in the past. But when we talk about present perfect, this one action that you've done, as an example, me, I have eaten dinner. I have eaten dinner. Oh. That's, an, that's a, a recent event. That dinner is for today. It's not from last year. It's not from five years ago. No, I ate dinner today recently, but I don't say the time. That's number one. The other is as an example for Bane. Bane has worked at Tigo for four years. Is that right, Bane? Was it, has it? Seven years. Sorry, sorry, seven years. So Vane has worked at Digo for seven years. This is a period of time, right? Start in the past, continue to today, but we don't have a specific time, only an amount of time, which is different. Seven years, 
but we don't have a specific time. That's the other one, okay? So if we look in our list in the WhatsApp, those are the examples of the explanation. A recent event, for example, my hair is wet. I don't have hair, but my hair is wet. And then I, I say, <laughs> oh, I have taken a shower. This is a recent action that affects the situation. That's usually, that's number one, okay? So number, um, the other one is, um, Vane has worked at Tigo for seven years. Start in the past and continues to now, okay? And the other is repeated action with no time reference. So um, as an example, I have, I, I have visited my grandparents on Saturdays. Okay, it's not that I did in the past, is the action continued and continued, okay? Now, what we're talking about is we're gonna be looking at those two with what we call the passive. Now, here's the difference. The active is what you do, okay? The passive is what happens to you, or many times we think about it is, Active is what the, the subject does, and the passive is what the subject receives. Okay. How oh, I'm confused. <laughs> no problem, no problem. That's why we're gonna watch a video. We're gonna practice some of these exercises because this is the important part. The important Teacher, part. Teacher, yes. and when I use a present perfect, past mm -hmm. perfect, uh, I use had. Present perfect, excuse me. I use ha, have. Correct, use have or has. Okay. Mm -hmm. Chair, uh, yes? could you please explain again when you say that it's an action that is uh, you do it uh, repeatedly? Yes. I mean. Yes, hang on. I know exactly what I'm going to do. Give me just one second. The thing is because it's it's present perfect. Why is present perfect? But you use uh, something. Uh, the action start the past. Okay. There we go. Okay, so thank you very much, Elizabeth, for your question, and I will explain it in this moment. The idea is that the name is the present perfect because always the idea, the concept is that it affects the present. It is part of the present conversation. Excuse me. It's part of the present conversation. Because it's part of the present conversation, it's called the present perfect. It does not mean that the action happens in the present. It only means that the action is relevant or important for the present conversation. Mm -hmm. That's why it's called the present perfect. Not because it is in the present, okay? So uh -huh. when, when we think about it in this concept, that means that always is because we are talking about the topic, we have visited, the action is important, our experience are important, but always it's something to do with now. And that's why it's going to be the present perfect. The continuous does, is different in the aspect that it is an action we are currently doing. Okay, now remember with the continuous, sometimes it gets a little confusing that it doesn't actually mean you are actually doing that prop. It means that you have not completed it at this moment. This is easy to understand when we think about a book, okay, um, or a magazine, or an article, or a report in the office. In this moment, you are not reading a book, you are not working in the office, and you are not doing any of these, but we use the present continuous. As an example, I am reading a book not figuratively, no, not literally, sorry, not literally now, but I have not finished and I plan to continue or I am writing a report, okay, for my boss. It doesn't mean that you are actually writing it right now. Most of the time, yes, but it doesn't 
always have to mean that. It just means that the activity you are talking about is incomplete. That's the key word, incomplete. Okay, that's the present continuous. Okay, okay. so if we say Jose is playing the guitar or playing the piano, it doesn't matter. I am, so maybe Jose, I, I think Jose said he's the guitar. You, you play the guitar, right Jose, if I remember? No, I, I, I can play it. Uh, when I, I was younger, I, I was a singer. Okay. That is the present perfect. That's the difference. So Jose is, I have sung. Okay. Have and the verb in past participle. He did that action. When? I don't know. Only I know that it happened before. In this moment, Jose says, oh, okay, I am studying English. Yes, you are in class, but not only because of the class, it's because this process is incomplete, okay? So imagine at the university, you are in vacation, yes, but you are still continuing next year. Ah, I am studying at the university. You do not say I studied because you did not finish you are still in the process. That's going to be the big difference. The perfect is the activity happened sometime before. The continuous is that the activity is not finished. Okay. Then we have the passive one more time. The passive is that the person or the uh, object received the activity. Okay. This cup. Okay. I threw the cup. This is active, but if I focus on the cup, the cup was thrown, passive. This is the object of the passive, okay? I called Elizabeth, I called Elizabeth. This is active, change the order. Elizabeth was called because she received it. No, she made it, that is the passive. So the passive, as you can see, is always receiving, like a telephone call. If you do, active. If you receive, passive. If you do. It's the you, active. If it's active. Mm -hmm. If you receive. It's the passive. If you receive, if it's a passive. Correct. And, correct. And now the passive is in all the times. That's why it's necessary for you to be clear what is the continuous and what is the perfect. Because the passive is in all of the different times. The difference is the focus. I call Elizabeth or Elizabeth received the call. That's the only difference. The passive can be in present, past, future, Perfect. It doesn't matter. It's only changing the perspective, how you see the things. Okay. So you this, say the passive, the passive can be in in past, in present, or it can be in all the times. In order. Yes, it can be in all the times because the passive is not a tense. It's only a focus change from the person does. Or the person receives. That's the only difference for the passive. Okay. okay. Now we're going to watch a small video with a, a little bit of an explanation um, and some examples. I think the video is a little short and that's why I wanted to spend the time explaining it because m maybe it's not so clear in the video. Okay, but we are going to watch the video and if you have any questions at the end of the video just let me know okay. can you see my screen yes teacher yes teacher okay good hi after you listen to the audio program and watch the video with the explanation we are sure you will understand how to describe causes using by, because of, due to, as a result of, and through. Stay with us. 
passive with prepositions. Present continuous passive. The air is being polluted by fumes from cars and trucks. City streets are being damaged as a result of heavy traffic. Present perfect passive. The roadways have been jammed because of people's dependence on cars. Many parks have been lost through overbuilding. The homeless have been displaced due to overcrowding in city shelters. Before we go deep into the topic of passive with prepositions, I will divide the topic in two parts to make it easier for you to understand. Number one, present continuous passive. Number two, present perfect passive. I will begin now with number one. Let me show you how to form the present continuous passive. Subject plus is or are being plus past participle. What does the present continuous passive do? It describes an action that is in progress right now. For example, we may say, too many trees are being cut down right now, these days, or water is being contaminated. Ready for number two? Present no. perfect passive. This is how to form this tense. Subject plus has or have, been plus past participle. We use present perfect passive to describe something that started before the present. The exact time isn't important. For example, too many trees have been cut down recently or in the last years. In either case, we will add a preposition right after the past participle. We may add by, because of, as a result of, due to, through. Let's then add a preposition to our last example. Too many trees have been cut down because of overbuilding. Note, these prepositions have similar meaning. Remember we have studied passive voice before? So let's make a quick review on the active and passive sentences. Active voice. Air pollution is threatening the health of people. Air pollution is the cause. Is threatening is the verb. The health of people is the object. Number one is air pollution and health of people is number two. So what we do now is exchange one and two, the object and the cause. Then write a preposition, the health of people by air pollution. Notice we left a blank space on the verb. That's because we need to identify the original tense. In this case, it's present continuous. And write the verb in that tense. For example, is or are being. Then take the original verb, example, threatened, and make it past participle of it. We will be left out with is or are being plus threatened. We want you to do the next exercise. Rewrite the following sentences using passive plus the prepositions given. Remember, you may do them on our discussion box as well as in your notebooks. Number one, air pollution is threatening the health of people in urban areas. By Number two, livestock farms have contaminated soil and underground water because of Number three, the burning of gas, oil, and coal has created acid rain as a result of. The use of CFCs in products like hairspray has created a hole in the ozone layer through. Number five, the destruction of rainforest is harming rare plants and wildlife through. Number six, the growth of suburbs has eaten up huge amounts of farmland due to. Like I said, the video is maybe a little bit more, not so clear, not so easy to understand as my explanation. <laughs> okay, so one more time, a quick review. Passive, 
the difference, just think about the telephone. If you get confused, just think about the telephone. Do you call or do you receive the call? If you receive it, it's passive. If you make it, it's active. The same thing for the actions, okay? If you do it, it's active. If you receive it or the other person receives it, it's passive. That's the first part, okay? The second part is the idea with the grammar structures that we're talking about. The continuous is complete or not complete. If the action is not complete, that's the continuous, right? We're, we're in the process. We haven't finished it, okay? If the action happened before, that's the perfect. The important or the key in the perfect is not to say when it happened, not to say when, only to say the action. Elizabeth, have you gone to the beach? Yes, sometime. Exactly, that's it. That's it, we don't know when. I have gone to the beach. Elizabeth is not going to say, I went to the beach. Why? Because if Elizabeth says, I went to the beach, then it's necessary for us to know when it happened. If Elizabeth only says, I have gone to the beach, it's only necessary for us that the action, this is the only part that's important. Is that okay? Oh, I need time to I need time to to study more this um, okay. teaching. Okay. Uh, no problem. No problem. And that's the idea. We we need it. It really does require time. It requires time and practice to make sure that it gets clear. But. The first is to understand the concept before we practice. That's the important, to understand the, our concept, okay? And the concept is that if you do it, it's active. If the person receives it, it's passive. If it's not complete, it's continuous. If the action happened before, it's the perfect. I know, I know. Sounds like a lot of information. Sounds like a lot of information. And <laughs> yeah, maybe in, a, in a short time, you know. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's the thing. It's, it's because in a short time, it's, it's a lot of information in a short time. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. So what we want to do is we want to change it. We want to change that for practice. And we want to make sure that it's clear. So I'm gonna, we're going to form groups. And we're going to do together in your groups 2.2. Rewriting the sentences using passive, okay? That's the important. Rewriting the sentences using passive. So before we do that, we need to practice a little bit first and make sure we understand what is the difference, okay? So um, tell me what you did today, anybody, and I'll help you understand the difference. Tell me what you did today. What happened in your office, at home, in your house? What, what did you do or what happened? I had a meeting. <laughs> okay. Okay, let's take Elizabeth short, but, but easy to understand. Elizabeth said, I had a meeting. This is an active. We are focusing on her. What was the topic of the meeting, Elizabeth? About the the conference that we are gonna have, uh, that is gonna start tomorrow. Okay. But in, in local time, it's gonna start uh, tonight at ten. <laughs> okay, okay. So we now change the topic from Elizabeth. Bless you, Vane. Bless you. Woo! Get the tequila. Woo, Vane. Get the love. Get the love, Vane. <laughs> 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 and it's Monday. And it's Monday. <laughs> <laughs> and they continue the Black Friday promotion. Two for one tequilas. All right. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. All right. So we go back to Elizabeth. We're looking at the act of I had a meeting. Okay. But in the passive is we focus on the object. A meeting. Okay. Elizabeth said a conference meeting. Right. So a conference meeting was, because it's in the past, was, in this case, held, or was given, or was 
done, okay, today. Who did it? I imagine the person who is given by the university or by the company or by whoever, okay? That is extra information. That's not so important. The important is what happened, okay? A meeting was held, okay? Passive. Active, Elizabeth, okay, went to a meeting or Elizabeth had a meeting because she used the verb had. Somebody else, don't worry, give me one more. We're gonna practice a couple more before I make you do it in, there, in your groups with you. Okay, give me another one. Another example. Yeah, no, tell me what you did today. Tell me what you did today, Vanya. Um, I had to work in the closing month. Okay. I had a lot of meetings because of that, and I had to fix uh, some problems that we have in the system. Okay. So in the passive, we change because digo me, the customer, I don't care if Vane fixed it. I don't care if Romulo fixed it. I only care the problem was fixed. That's the passive. That is the passive. The problem was fixed. The other is for you. Internally, the problem was fixed by Vane, by Vane's team, by Romulo. That's for you guys. For me, as a customer, I only care about the actions. I don't care who does them. But for you and your company and your position, it's important who is responsible for this. That is the active. Vane fixed the problems. For me, the customer is not in problem. It's not important who. It's important the problem and what happens. The problem and the was fixed. Does that help you a little bit more? <clears throat> no, kind of. I see Varnes' face like, I see Varnes' face. Mm. Mm. Maybe tequila will help me understand, but okay, Varnes, okay. <laughs> 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 yes, another that, example, teacher. That, another that, example, that Patricia. That true. Okay. In All that right. example, I, I, uh, I was the active, and the problem was, was the, the past. Passive. Correct, because we change the focus. Always in the passive, the focus cannot do the action. The action, the uh, the it can only receive. It can receive a solution. It can receive a fix. It can receive, but it cannot do anything because it's an object or it's a thing. Yeah, One more example, like Patricia said. I, at the beginning of the class, I asked about Patricia's picture. You guys remember? Yeah. Okay, Patricia, who took that picture? Of your son. Who took the picture of the son, of your son? He's a Steven. Yes, but who took the picture? Who, click, click, who took the picture? I understand, teacher. Who took? Took. ¿Quién tomó la foto? Who took? Mm -hmm. It's a. Uh, it's a restaurant. It. Um... Look in the chat, Patri Patricia. In the chat, it will help you understand a little bit better. Uh, I took the picture. That is at the, the restaurant. That is the difference. When we say, I took the picture, is active. We focus in you. We focus in you. But the, you are not important. You, it's not important who took it. The important is the picture. The important is your son. The important is the bear. So then we focus the picture. Ah, the picture was taken in a restaurant. If we want, we include the extra information by his mom, by Patricia, by you. But you are not the focus. Your son and the picture is the focus. That is the passive. When we change the focus for who does the action to who receives the action or what is received. Does that help you a little bit more, Patricia? Yes, teacher. Okay. 
All right. Teacher, can we make the uh, the two point two knowledge check all together here, one by one? Because <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean that's gonna help us to to understand that. I think. Okay. All right. Okay. Let's try it together. All right. Is everybody on two point two, or do you need me to, or would you like me to to share my screen, or or what? You guys tell me. Or are you watching it already in yours? Share your screen. Share. Okay, perfect. I'll share my screen. All right, let's take a look. Okay, hang on. Okay. 2.2. .2. All right, Elizabeth, let's make sure we got everybody together. Okay, my, my question is, what's the, and then the first uh, example, what is, what's, mm -hmm. okay. Can it, sorry, sorry, Elizabeth, can everybody see my screen? Let's make sure we work together. Yes. Yes, okay. Yes. All right, so first one, let's go. Air pollution is threatening the health of people in urban areas. Okay, what is the topic? What are we talking about? The health. Air, air pollution. Okay, so. This is what is doing. This is air pollution is doing this. Okay, and who oh. is re, who? Who is it? Who air pollution is doing this action, right? And who is receiving this air pollution? Who? The people. The Correct. People. In so, urban. So we begin with the topic, with with the object. The object, yeah. not the people, but the object is the health of the people. Mm -hmm. Right, because this is the topic. It's not, sorry, oops, it's pronounced, misspelling there. It's the health of the people, not the people. The health of the people, okay, that's the first thing. We need to identify always in all those sentences, we need to identify what we're talking about, what it is, okay? We're talking about yeah. the health of the people. What happens with the health of the people, okay? In the sentence. So that's the first things that we have to identify, right? Correct, that's the first thing the you need to identify. Of the people in urban areas. Correct, because we have a, we have a complement there, so we need to continue the complement in urban areas, okay? What is happening to the health of the people in urban areas? Now is what is happening, now it's important, that's the passive. It is treating. It is being driven. Excellent, that is the difference, okay? So is being, because it's not, oh. is still continuing, right? It's not finished, it's not finished yet. It's being, okay, threatened, okay? No threatening, the verb to be is the one that has the ing. Always the other verb after the verb to be is the one in past participle. Always, always, always is in past participle for the passive. Okay, so is being threatened? Who is doing the threatening? By air pollution. By, 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 by air, pollution. air pollution. Correct, mm -hmm. by air pollution. Okay, so let's take a look at our sentence one more time and see how we came with the answer. We read the original sentence, air pollution is threatening the health of people in urban areas. We have the subject, air pollution, the action, is threatening and then the what? The, the object. The object, the health of people in urban areas. So when we make the passive, we begin with the object, the health of urban people. Then we continue with the action. What is the action? Ah, uh, is threatening. We put the verb to be, okay? And we make the decision in with ing or has or have, but always we use the past participle. Always, always we decide in which form, but we use the past participle. And then who does this or what does this? In this case, the air pollution. Now we submit, let's check. I have it wrong. Let me double check. <laughs> did I, I have put, in, did I put I a have period? Correct, but uh, I maybe it's missing the I have the period. Or let's this see. is my answer and I have it. As, as a correct in the platform. All right, maybe I misspelled something. Let's take a look. Did I ah, have a... the, 
of the of the people. I, I oh, just of people. of people. Thank you, thank you. Yes. Huh? Yes, it, because in the original sentence, it doesn't say the people. It only says the health of people. There. And it's correct. <laughs> yes, because in the original sentence, here, sorry, here it doesn't say the health of the people. It says the health of people. So I, I have to put like it says in the context. All right. Let's try one more. Let's try another one. Okay. Here we have livestock farms have contaminated soil and underground water. Okay. What is the object? That's what we're going to begin with. Soil. Correct. That that's the first word. Okay. It's not the soil only and word. underground water. Soil and underground water. Water. Okay. Okay. Soil and underground water. Mm. Then it, wait, I didn't put a space and then it's going to give it to me wrong. Okay. And then the action. Okay. Soil, underground water, what happened? Have been. Have been because we don't know when. We don't know when. Have been, remember, always the verb to be. And how is the, how is the verb? Always in past participle. What is the past participle of contaminated? The same the because same. it's a regular verb. And regular verbs always are the same, past and past participle. So I put the same thing, contaminated, okay, contaminated. Now, we can use contaminated by, but here it's not, we're not going to use by because in the parentheses, what is the word that we need to use? Because, because of. Exactly, because. we need to use because of, because of what? Livestock, livestock. Livestock what? Farms. 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 Yes, because the livestocks are the animals and the farms are where they grow. So where the animals are grown. And that is the next one. And you can see is correct. Okay. Now we're going to at least, you and your partners are going to try to do the other two together. At least try to do the other one, the other two together to, you know, to practice and make sure you feel comfortable with it. Don't worry, you have a little mistake, it's okay. That's why we come to class. Work on it and then we do together to make sure you have it correct. So remember, this is 2.2, 2. 2. 2.2. 2. Oh, no, no, not yet. Okay. Do you Let's have see. that? The you have the, no, to continue the, the exercise too. The exercise two. Yes. We two try to. Two, right? Uh huh. Okay, okay. Yes, as is as it rain. Mm hmm. Is it rain? As it rain. Has been. Uh, has been created, right? Has been created. Mm hmm. As a result of. That's the result, uh -huh. of, of the part of gas, oil, and coal. Oil and coal. And check. And no. Mm. As in ray has been created. As a result of the burning of gas, oil, and coal. Let's take uh, maybe this one is, has been or have been. Mm -hmm. you had a question yes teacher we don't have the picture of the exercises it's 2.2 in the platform 
Uh, we are not at the computer today. Uh, no problem. Okay, I got you. Show, please. Of course, of course. One moment. Let me take a picture then. And you are in the WhatsApp, is that correct? Thank you. Okay. All right, hang on. Let me yes. Go. All right, it's in the WhatsApp. Let me know if you got it. Yeah, thank you. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay. Let's see the third one. Here in my cell phone. Ah, okay. Teacher, uh, teacher is I, here. I, yeah, um, I have, I have the uh, the around the the number two. Uh, actually, the number one, two. I don't. The number one and the number two. So wait, wait, one more time, Elizabeth. You have wrong number one and number two. Yeah. But we did together. You copy exactly. Show me the screen. Yeah, I, I'm gonna I show you my my, my with the camera. Yeah, show me I'm with the camera. My, in, show me with the camera. Okay, in number uh, number one, the health of people in urban uh, uh, areas is being treated treated trend trend treated treated by air pollution. Period. But that's and what we did. That's that's the one we put. Okay, one more time. I the, it's too small. Read it to me one more time. I'm gonna double check with with the the answer we did together. Okay, the health yeah. or the mm -hmm. health. Can you see the the screen, the 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 the, the camera? No, it's the letter is no, too small. No, it's clear. Mm -hmm. It's not clear. Small? Yeah, it's too small. Okay. But well, that's the answer. That's the answer that I wrote. Okay, the health. The health of people in urban areas is being treat treat treat. I don't know. I don't know how to say that Threat, word. No problem. Threatened. Threat, threatened. Mm -hmm. Threatened. 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 Threatened mm -hmm. by air pollution. Yeah, it has to be something that you maybe I don't a, know a letter what. or something because that's the right answer. The first, the first, the first letter is um, capital. It's a capital, yeah. And I have, and I put the period, and I don't know what, what, why is wrong. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I, I um, but it's, teacher, you, it's you hard to see the answer in the chat. Yeah. But we, it, it, not in the chat. We did together here. Is the same? Yeah, I have the same. The One same moment. Uh, answer. Let me. I think it's probably something you spelled. It has to be because there's no reason for it to be wrong. Here, um, Elizabeth. Uh -huh. Double. It's in the chat right now. Oh. Double. Do me a uh, favor and double the check. The hell. Uh, because I can't, I can't see yours. Your your letter is a little small, so I can't see clearly. But mm -hmm. health, health, of people in in urban areas, it's been three. Oh, <laughs> I miss one. Um, H. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I told you it's some it has to be something because we did together. <laughs> it's impossible. <laughs> okay, okay. Okay, let me check. Uh, Okay, teacher, I have to leave uh, this session. Hello? No problem. I understand. Okay, thank you. Bye, You're guys. You're welcome. Goodbye. Goodbye. Bye. Bye, Elizabeth. Bye. Teacher, we have some difficulties with the, sec the, with the last one sentence. Yeah, the fourth one. Okay. What's the number four? The use of... Yes. Hey. 
maybe in number, uh, in number three please <laughs> okay so let's do okay i have a better idea all right hey god so let's say number three and four let's do together right <laughs> Dude, we had the idea we tried the concept okay all right so what was number three what'd you guys come up with at least let's start off with that what was number three acid rain yeah acid rain we put has as a rain has been created okay. as a result of the burning of gas, oil, and coal. That is correct. What's the problem? But if I don't we, know. <laughs> it didn't because we try we try it uh, with has been has been and look look is this what you wrote? Acid rain has been created, yeah. and you put created with ed right? Yeah. Okay, has we been... have yes, we have this answer in the chat. Okay, and as a result, recognize as, a, as correct of the, of the burning of gas, oil, and cruel. That's what it says, right? And cruel, no. and I no, coal, sorry, coal, 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 coal and coal, sorry, and coal. The burning of gas, oil, and coal. That's okay. So let me make sure I put everything correct. The same that you said. Acid rain has been created as a result of, correct? Up to there is the same on it? Yes. Yes. Okay. And the result of the burning with ing, right? Just like in the sentence. And the burning, and then the copy, I, I copy everything, right? The the burning of gas, oil, and coal, right? Yes. Okay, let me check. No, Vane, I have it right, and it's the same answer you're telling me. It's the comma, I would comma try after the oil. Is the what? Is the what? The comma after the oil word. Ah, for one comma. I'm... <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, okay. All right, all right. Let's try the next one. Let's try the next one. Help me out. What did you guys come up with? What was the object? What should we start with? The awesome layer. Almost. Almost. We begin after the verb. The verb is whole, exactly. The awesome layer. Yes, because the verb is created, so we begin after the verb, a whole, okay. a whole where, just like in the sentence, a whole in the ozone, ozone layer. layer, exactly, a hole in the ozone layer, that's the object, okay, what happened with the hole in the ozone layer? What is the action? Look right before a hole, what happened? Has been created. Correct, has been because receives remember receives not does has been created okay because created is the same verb present i'm uh, sorry same verb past and past participle has been created yes 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 romulo go ahead continue so the you uh -huh. the, the use the use of, of uh-huh in products. Okay, in products. Okay. I'm. You know what? Like the use of. I. Yes, Romulo. I listen to you, but I'm just gonna copy it because I don't want yeah. to make a mistake. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's. <laughs> I. I. I know. Maybe it's. It's not the best answer, but I know it's better to copy it and not have so many mistakes. I think. Let me check, and then I only make sure that everything has the use of CFCs in the products. Okay, like hairspray. Okay, let, and I put a period. Let me check. Ah, Romulo, it's wrong. Look at that. No, I don't know. I'm waiting. <laughs> it's loading. It says submitting. Let me try again. 
Ah, uh, yes. Okay. Yeah, yeah, it, it marks it correct. It marks yeah. it correct. So exactly like your answer said. So maybe it's just a small comma, maybe it's just a, a little letter or something, but double check because yes, that an, those answers are correct. It's just something that's, something is missing. Okay, guys? Okay. All right, so we're gonna continue again tomorrow. Um, if you're not clear, the present perfect, the simple past, use the link. Use the link for extra practice. It'll help you. Okay. All right, guys. Have a great night. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. 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 Bye.